Hey guys and welcome to my shop. Today I thought it would be fun to give you a video on the day in the life of a shop owner. So let's go. So here's my store if you've never been in. Every day is a little bit different. So we're just gonna kind of see what needs to be done for today and I'll take you through it. So we carry yarn, fabric, different crafty materials and we teach classes and we love to help people be creative. So back here's our classroom space. This is where the classes happen. Back here's our storage area and our little kitchen. So first order of business, coffee. Okay, now that that's done, we have a few things I know we're gonna be doing today. I definitely have some orders to pack. So we sell products online and every day we will print out some labels on the computer, pack up the orders and we'll drop them off at the post office. So that'll probably be the first thing we do. So then something I really wanna do today is get this loom going. So I've had this loom here for a while now and it was threaded up with all kinds of old rotten threads from a long time ago and yesterday I cut them all off and I started making some new bundles of thread that I plan to uh, rewarp this with so that's something I really wanted to be doing so hopefully we'll get to that today I also want, I got some steel wool and some special wax stuff to clean up this loom because it's just I received it and I haven't done a whole lot with it so hoping we can do some of that today uh, we may have a student later at three o'clock she's been coming on Thursdays at three for sewing lessons for two hours so I think we'll have her I don't know what she'll want to make she always comes with an idea so we'll make something um, and then I have some other alterations I want to do I uh, have about ten 15 pairs of pants back there, the hem, all kinds of alterations back there. And I've been working on a t-shirt quilt for a client as well. So those are some of the things we may or may not get to. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be a fun day. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is pack orders. So I'm just on the computer here, gonna print my packing slips and my labels. Started pulling the products that need to go out and we're gonna get the rest of it together, packed up and out. Okay, so let's see what we need. This person wants wool stock and cast iron, 150 gram skeins. So we just come over here, and find the yarn we need. Need the dark gray, there it is, big skeins. Get one of these for Hannah, good choice, Hannah. Set that over on the counter. What else do we need? Oh, looks like Diane wants to make a woodland toadstool. Let's get her a kit off the shelf. So this is what we do every day. So if you order something through our website or our Etsy, every day that we're open, the packages go out. So we try to be as quick as possible. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, cable needles. Probably our most popular item. Cable needles. So, let's see. We need a pack of the Albizia wood and another pack of the Subaba wood. It's different, two different customers. Okay, and then it looks like we've got some other items here. Going out to Donna. Okay. Oh, we have to pick from the tree of minis for this ridiculous blush. Good choice. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue pulling items here, get everybody's orders together, and I'll meet you back at the counter. All right, I think we have all the orders for today packed up here with their packing slips. Let's give everybody a coupon for their next order today. You can use this too if you're watching. Use code thank you, shoppindrop.com. Get a discount. 
So we'll give everybody their coupons. We'll put these all in little plastic bags and then we will put them into the poly mailers with the labels taped on. And then we'll be ready. Blue Sky Bulky's going to Canada. Yay! Off you go. Okay, we've got all our orders packed and in our mail pouch, so let's go to the post office. Okay, it's a really nice day out, so we can just walk to the post office. Here we go. Beautiful downtown Yorksville, Ohio. Got lots of fun little shops here on 3rd Street. So why don't we stop in and say hi to our friends at the Lovely Boutique. So this little boutique just opened up recently. It's called Lovely and they have clothing and jewelry. Let's stop in. Hey. Hey, Jess. What's going on, Betty? How are you? Oh, I just taken advantage of some time to do some merchandising. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just walking down to the post office. Aw, well thanks for stopping in. Yeah. They have tons of cute clothing. So happy this little place opened up on 3rd Street. Aww. All right. We're well, happy to be here. Have a good one. Okay, here we are at the post office. Okay, we're back. So now I'm going to go in the computer and make some inventory adjustments for all the things I just sold on Etsy, taking them off my site, and everything that's sold on the site, taking them off Etsy. So I'm going to go do that. All right, that's all done. So let's see what's going on with this loom. So, I took the harnesses off. I think I need to replace this reed. Definitely want to clean it up. Gotta get these two more harnesses attached to those pedals. So, we might do a little bit of this today. I think I do want to clean up the wood at least and probably slide the bars out of the harness, sand them down because I did order new pedals, so I'd like to get those put on today. So back here you will see our alterations corner. So everything on this side and the bottom are things I need to do. Everything on this side is things that are done that need to be picked up. So we'll get into this here shortly too. But first, let's have some lunch. Okay, let's bust out some alterations. I have all these pants to hem. I've already cut the amount needed off. We're gonna press them up, pin them, and then we're gonna go over to the machine and sew them. I'm just gonna press up these. This is usually more the style of video I do where I teach you how to do stuff. So, but I thought today we would just kinda show you everything I do. So I'm just going to keep finishing this. I'm going to press up this whole pile unless our little student arrives in between there. And then I'll meet you over the sewing machine. Okay, so to hem these jeans, since they have these really thick flat felled seams, I like to use my industrial juki. So I threaded it up with some gold thread because that was what was used in the original. So here we go. So we're just going to run all these through the machine and then we can call the customer to come pick them up. Okay, so our little sewing student arrived. This is Maisie. Hi. Hey Maisie. So she brought some fabric with her. I brought silk one too. Oh, awesome. So what do you want to make? Uh, one of those two pillows. Okay, for a bed. Mm -hmm. A big long bolster pillow. All right, we can do that. Okay, so me and Maisie are going to sew, so we'll meet you back here later. Alright, and Maisie is rolling on her bolster pillows. We're going to make a little tube and then two little end caps for the ends. So she has one with these cats and one with these paisleys and flowers. It's going to be awesome. I'm happy I did this better. Um, yeah, that looks great. So we have assembled our bolster pillows and Maisie's flipping them right side out. Are they cool? Now we're going to stuff them. Looking good. Yay. Look at those pillows. 
Awesome job. <laughs> I like the sides. Yes. Totally makes it. She loves to mix and match. Yay, they look so good. So cool. Now we're just adding the finishing touch. Perfect. Yep, just pull that through. Perfect. And we can clip our tails. Awesome. All right, that was fun. So now, back to hem and pants. Okay, so the time is now six o'clock. We're open till seven. So I got about halfway through those pants and I really wanna make some progress on this loom. So um, I'm gonna do that now. So these are the heddles here. They're all rusty. So I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna sand these bars and I'm gonna clean up all the wood part. I got these new shiny heddles I'm gonna put on. So um, I really wanna get this working so we can do classes and you know use all the yarn for fun weavings. Okay, so I managed to pop these bars out by releasing these side clamp things and these middle things. So I'm just gonna let all these heddles fall off onto the floor. So this has been a pretty typical day around here. I always pack orders. I usually do some alterations. Um, had a few customers throughout there, but I didn't want to make them feel weird, so I didn't film them. <laughs> Sold some yarn, had some alteration pickups. Um, yeah, that's kind of what we do. Just try to make creative things happen every day. So right now this weaving loom is my thing that's making me excited. So I'm gonna try to get it running. So this is probably what I'll do until we close. So I hope you enjoyed my day in the life video. <laughs> If you found this interesting, please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. We do all kinds of videos, uh, mostly tutorials, a little bit of product, informational videos. Just I plan to do more of just what I have going on, podcast style maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Let me know if there's something you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.